Hey guys, I'm Masis the Beast, and you are watching The Lost Isle, The Legend of Zelda fan game where I play through this Zelda adventure. I don't think that went over too well. Uh, anyway, here's where we left off at this block moving puzzle, and I presume I gotta push these blocks so that they fit onto this onto the squares. So uh, nothing too difficult. This is typical Zelda. Uh, if you've been following along, we just made it to the basement floor one. We drained the water, and uh, now we are well exploring the lower floor. Yay! Uh, a few things I didn't touch on in the last video that I want to mention. I think I need to start starting these videos with something a little more elaborate than straight to the gameplay. So I'm hosting a little contest. Uh, anybody who wants to create or, or well, and send in a little introduction, like a little, some little blurb to start it, like a little three second like, cover title picture thingy. Could be a little fan artwork, could be, uh, could be anything really, maybe just something with Lost Isle, something with me, something with whatever you really want. Uh, if you want to do that, you can go right ahead and do so, and uh, I will pick one of them and add it to the start of the next video. Alright, so let's see, can I shoot that thing? Let's try that. Oh, look at that! I don't think that did anything considering... Oh, yes it did. Okay, let's see, can I make it around this waterfall? Or is it a secret to everybody? Oh wait, there- oh goodness. Ah, cobras! Run! Oh goodness, the deep of death. We need health. We need health. We need health. Beware the floor. Alright. Ow. Alright, I'm back here at the basement floor. Uh, well, I just died a rather sad and pathetic death. But uh, it turns out that I don't think I should have gone in that room. Because, uh, or somebody should have told me I should have beware of the floor. Ow. I don't know if I'm... Hmm. I don't know if I can make it through that room at all. Uh, I, mean, I don't think I can. I, mean, I, th I think I need some sort of item or something. Or maybe I gotta just be a little more... Can I, I can't sneak by that. Okay, that statue right there is... Okay, let's try this again. Uh, hopefully I can do this without getting killed by a statue again. Okay, this statue right here at least doesn't move quickly. These other two, uh, well, that's a different story. So my death count is now at two. Let's see. Uh, Cobras! Let's use this pot here as a barrier. Come on, you armo statue. One more time. There we go. All right. So like I said, I don't know if I can actually make it through this room. Uh, maybe I can just go inside. Maybe I have to... I can't unhit that thing. I don't know why this crystal is here. Oh, well, maybe it unlocks something on the other... I don't know. Let's see, can I just hide inside the door? Beware the floor. Or do I just have to take my damage and make it to that door? Oh, goodness. Okay, never mind. That's not gonna work at all. Alright, three deaths later, and I think it's pretty clear we cannot go this way. So, uh, maybe we should try a different direction and uh, see uh, what to make of that room later on. I'm sure there's some sort of secret that I don't know of, or maybe the dungeon item. Uh, just looking at this room right here, I'm pretty confident still that it's going to be some sort of raft as the dungeon item. Um, one thing that really stinks, every time I die, it... What the heck is this nonsense? Oh, jeez, that pot. Uh, every time I die, it totally resets the level. So I have to go redrain the water every single time. Which is incredibly annoying, if you ask me. And, uh, alright, where can I go? This is a little annoying. 
maybe there's some sort of uh, I can't that can't that'd be too random. Hmm. I don't wanna go there again. Maybe is there Maybe there hmm. Oh goodness, the beep of death. Is there something behind the waterfall maybe? Give me health, you stupid selfos. It's not health. Oh, I know what I should do. Oh, that guy didn't move fast. Maybe I should have killed this one too. Whew. Let's see, can I walk into something here? Maybe a secret back here? Nope, that's not doing it. Alright, so there is nothing here, and there is this incredible, incredibly annoying beep. Okay, this... let's see. Uh... Oh, covers! That's not giving me health. Okay, so it's clear I can't move here. Can I re-hit that thing? No, I cannot. Give me health. That's not health. Bomb wall. Nothing. No health. I need to hit that switch to get through, but I don't know how. There's nothing else here, though. Huh. Let's see. Well... Hmm. Is there not one of these, like... Do I have to hit one of these Pac-Mans that are sitting in the middle of the... Killing that enemy. I was thinking maybe it was one of those cases where you gotta kill all the enemies. Oh, wait, hold on. I got an idea. Oh. Alright, I finally made it back over here, and let's try this one more time. Uh, one thing I noticed beware of the floor. When I just walk out in front, nothing happens. Um. And. I think if you look closely, like right below me, and right below that one, so can I walk here? Yes, I can. Okay, so, ah, uh, okay, I gotta like play, pay close attention to the floor. So, and you just, there's these little, like there's one right to the right of me, one below me, and you just carefully walk around these things, and there you go! That was, uh... It was a unique puzzle, but... Alright, step on switch. We never have to do that ever again for the rest of our lives. As long as we live. It's, it's very, uh... Nice. Alright. Oh, goodness, more. These armos are really... Annoying, especially the fast-moving ones. Alright, I have no good shot with an arrow, so... There we go. Dead. Let's see what we have here. At least the wall is not gonna. The floor. It was odd. Why did you do that? Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's think about this logically. Hmm. Okay, if I push. Okay, push this to the left. Let's try this. Oh, wait, that doesn't go. Wait, can I even push these things? Am I just staring? Or do I... Oh, I pushed the white blocks. Alright, let me reset this. I'm, like, trying to think uh, logically about how to push the uh, dark blocks. Okay, I think I got... Isn't this pretty simple, then? Oh, that does not go up. Oh, I can just push it down. Uh, let's see. Uh, left and down, and we got it. Alright. That was not that hard. I actually like these block pushing puzzles. They're pretty, you know, a lot of people don't like them. I mean, they're classic Zelda puzzles, but I don't know. I like them. They're my thing. I'm uh, I'm more of a puzzle guy than an action guy, so um, I guess, yeah. Zelda does get labeled as a puzzle game a lot, but honestly, the vast majority of Zelda puzzles are not really that hard, especially in the video game spectrum, compared to a game like you know, something like the Silent Hill puzzles or something. Those things are a little, uh, a little ridiculous in kind of terms of difficulty. Ow! But Zelda puzzles really consist of pushing blocks and whatnot. 
So, I don't know why anybody would go... Like, there's those funny little frog... Ow! why these guys respawn? I thought I killed everybody. Health. Like, oh, is there some sort of secret over here, or is this just... Is this just to avoid the enemies? Ow. I don't know why I'm doing this now, because I could just easily go at the bottom. I just felt that I needed to prove, prove I guess, that I could walk across it. Uh, nothing's happening from this one. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Okay, before we explore this area, let's go down and check out this door to the left. And uh, maybe the... Uh, Alright, let's go back up. Oh, I think that switch at the bottom left might lower some more water that will uh, make our adventure even more wonderful. Okay, so let's, let's start by pushing that one there. And let's see if we can... Hmm. do that. Can I just can I creep these forward slowly? Oh, that's not gonna work. Huh. Maybe I can just do it with these. Ow! 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 There we go. Alright. It caused me... It was the cost of a beep, but I made it. Health. Thank you. No more beep. Alright, so uh, I think we're going to be able to lower the... Ooh, good. Full health. This is... Lovely. No, this is an awkward room. This is probably just a health room. Because they know, just like me, you're going to get damaged in that last room. But let's go. Oh. That didn't lower the water at all. But, ooh, look. All this... At least we can make it through, so let's head back. This is an interesting room. I'm sure there was a more efficient way to do it than I did. But, hey, I didn't die. I made it through. Can't complain. So, uh, right, this shouldn't be too difficult now. We are making progress. Let's see, uh... Yuck, more of these things. At least there's no... Let's see. Yeah, at least it's not as like the path in that one other room was very like you couldn't make any mistakes. All right, right or down, right or down. We're going right. Actually, let's go down. I changed my mind. Oh, do we want to lower? No, we do not want to lower the water yet because otherwise, right. let's just not lower the water first, and we will lower the water in a few moments. Hmm. Gorillas. Oh, more block pushing -ness. Although, what exactly are we pushing? Where are these things going? Oh, okay, there's this thing right here. But I can't push any... Ow. Huh. Is this like... What is this thing here? Can I push this block? I can see this one has a... Oh, wait. I can push the void blocks. Okay, okay, I got it. This is... I... Wait, I can't push this again? What happened? Oh, no. Alright, let's reset this. The white block can only get pushed once, apparently. What is this? I can't push this block? These blocks can get pushed multiple times, but only in the direction that they're facing. Uh, okay, judging by that, I'm concluding that this puzzle is unsolvable right now. Because... Pushing this down doesn't do anything. Oh, ooh, what about that one? Wait, that's... That's a different color block. Maybe that one can be pushed any direction in an unlimited amount of times? Let's try that. Maybe I can get that little... Yeah, alright. Oh, wait. Hold on. I did that wrong. So I gotta go... I gotta push him up. Go around. Oh! 
I can't do that. All right, this is where this comes into play. So let's push this baby. Oh wait, that's not gonna do it. Let's go. Oh, there we go. We gotta go push him to the left then. Jesus, kind of complicated. You go down. <laughs> and as I said about five minutes ago, how much I like block moving puzzles. Uh, we get a block moving puzzle that's pretty elaborate. But no fear, nothing monsters can't handle. If it takes logic, I can do it. Maybe I should explore the right first, but since I just spent all that time doing this. Ooh, this looks like. Ah, Cobras! That seemed unnecessary. That's one of those things. Oh boy. More. Health, 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 health. Arr. Oh! Well, look at that! I, I want health. Give me health, 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 health. I'm sure my uh, desire to get health is starting to get annoying. I don't think gels or keys or cave bats, whatever they're called, give you health. Oh, I think we're making our way back to that beginning area of this floor. Where, yes, I can step on the switch. All right, now I created dead. At least I created the shortcut, though. All right, I'm back here at the basement one level, right near the entrance. And uh, I just recently opened up this little extra path to the side here. So uh, now I can actually traverse across this level without, oh, stupid pot. Without uh, having to backtrack all the way around. Ooh, we can check this out. Let's see what do we got here. There's a lot of areas that I've somewhat... Oh, can I go here? Oh, yes, I can. I've uncovered a lot of stuff. Ow! These flying pots are becoming increasingly annoying. Um, I've uncovered a lot of things on the second floor that I need to explore, so... Uh, or this not second floor, but the basement floor. I don't know what... Oh, goodness gracious. This looks... Rather... Can I make it through this? I can't even tell if I can make it. Oh, there we go. Huh. Can I push these things? What? What is this? These uh, are like hidden tunnel block things that are... Alright. Can I... Can I sneak through something here? What is this? I can't tell what I can walk through and what I can't. Can I walk through something like up here maybe? No, that's not doing it. I can Oh, I can break that pot. I forgot that I can break these things. Alright, let's... Come on. Huh. Why can I not break that one? Can I not make it through this? I can get through this whole cave without... Well, this is kind of annoying. I gotta put a bomb here. Oh, wait. What? Alright. We made it. All that for a small key. Success. Alright, well, let's... this is a kind of a dumb room if you ask me. I don't know. It's just random guessing, I guess. One thing I think this... that what one thing I don't like about this game, uh, or this level in particular, this is classic amongst classic video games, even Zelda. You cannot really beat this game without dying. It does ow. Doesn't matter how good of a gamer you are. The fact that there's so many rooms that have those just complete like discovery, death, and then you learn something, you know. Like that room with the spikes. Nobody's gonna beat that room from the start. Everybody's gonna die at least once until they figure out what they're supposed to do. Um Yeah, and that and that's kind of a nice and oh! I finally made it back to this shortcut. So let's open up this path. If I can oh goodness, Armos. Health. No health. Alright, so this this was I don't know if anybody remembers, but this was back at the other floor number one. So now I have a very quick shortcut. There's a lot of shortcuts in this dungeon. Alright, health. Uh, in the comments of the last video, somebody has suggested, I know I'm completely going off where I was, but somebody has suggested that there is a secret here somewhere. Oh. 
Oh, I can actually break these pots. Uh, oh, maybe that's all that there was a secret here. But there was like this little hole here. I don't think you can do anything here. Because, um, I guess that whole secret is probably just those arrows. I don't want to waste bombs on every hole. I don't see any notable cracks other than that one, but there's this weird perimeter here, so I don't think you can actually do anything, so there's that hole here, but that's... <gasps> no! Okay, that was very magical. Ow! And we're back... Oh, goodness. We have another small key, yay! Can I have just moved this block? Like, oh, that block is... Oh, wow. That was such a coincidence, I just figured that out right now. Alright, let's see. Let's backtrack over to... I think this would probably be my last playthrough, where if I... Okay, let's continue navigating the basement here. Now that we have opened up a lot of shortcuts, it should uh, make traversing a lot easier. Um, there's still a lot of those rooms. I can still lower the water level as well. And the stupid beep. Uh, hopefully I don't... Ah, oh, there we go, health. I wonder if this has that classic Zelda where you can just go like to a previous room, come back, and get more health. I know this has been a... <laughs> It's like a trick in Zelda ever since the, the good old days. Uh, it seems random what's under these little leaves. But um, let's go back to that room where we could lower the water. Oh, jeez, uh, flying pots. Oh, goodness, it happened again. How about... I didn't go to the room on the right over here, but... Oh! Death. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this video. I died, I think, six times. Uh, I got two small keys. So uh, in the next video, we will work on traversing a little further into the basement, and we'll lower the water level some more and try out some new things. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.